Hi, I'm Rob Reid, the Pro Vice-Chancellor for Learning and Teaching here at CQU and I just want to talk to you for a few minutes about the role of the educator here at um, this university. Well, I guess the first thing to say about um, being an educator is that it's a juggling act. It's about juggling your learning and teaching practice, your scholarly activities, whether they're in the discipline or whether they're in learning and teaching, as in this course, and they're also um, the activities that you do in terms of service and, and community. So you need to have a, a balanced portfolio, if you like, of all of those things. But um, I want to focus on learning and teaching here at CQU. Um, I used to wonder a few years ago, why, why we talk about learning and teaching? Why don't we just talk about teaching? Because obviously teaching involves teaching to people. But I guess the advantage in talking about learning and teaching is that it... Um, emphasizes that there are two people in the in the conversation that there are the teachers and there what there's what they do and there's also the, the learners um, so it's um it's a dialogue it's a conversation the whole business of teaching and learning and um, in order to think about that dialogue you need to think about what kinds of students we have and what kind of a university we are you know so we're not a group of eight university we're not a research intensive university we're a, a university that offers opportunity to a wide range of students and those students um, if you think about what kinds of students we have well it's it's not possible to, to generalize but a large proportion of them are distance students maybe about two-thirds of our students are distance um, the majority of them will be first in family you know so they're coming from a background that that um, doesn't have an academic tradition if you, if you like and many of them are, are mature students. They're trying to juggle um, jobs and family responsibilities and, and life out there, as well as their academic activities. So it's important that you sort of bear that in, in mind um, when you're um, thinking about how you uh, work with those students. The other um, thing about learning and teaching at CQ University is that we um, have a strap line that, that's around being Australia's most engaged university and we need to think about uh, engaged learning and teaching. If you read our various plans they talk about engaged learning and teaching and important aspects of that are around um, engagement with learners, um, the first year experience, um, valuing the student voice in that conversation. You know? And um, so you need to think about, about that, about how that works in relation to your um, academic practice. You also need to have some sort of philosophy of, of education. Now um, you can make that as complicated or as simple as you like. My own view on that is, um, is informed by Professor Phil Race from the UK, another POM, and um, Phil has a very sort of down-to-earth approach to education. He believes that it's got a bit silly in recent years and people um, have come up with daft terms and names and you don't really need those. And he talks about um, learning in terms of, of wanting and needing and getting feedback and learning by doing and all of those, those kinds of things. So I'd encourage you to um, think about your philosophy of, of um, how you teach and how your students might learn and develop that for yourself. Um, and if you're keen on, on simple and straightforward approaches that are um, fairly jargon-free, then I'd encourage you to read um, the work of Phil Rice. Um, and I want to finish just by talking about um, online and distance education. Given that that's the majority of, of what we do, and uh, um, therefore that's an important part of, of what you need to think about as an educator. And there was a paper in the Journal of Online Learning and Teaching in 2011 that talked about what the best online teachers do. And they said it was down to three main things. So um, I'll tell you about those three main things. Um, the first was to foster student engagement you know, and build a community of learners. And I've already talked about that in terms of learning and teaching being a dialogue. So you need to think about how that plays out in the online space. You know, how do you get students to, to engage? Um, so it's not simply a matter of, of sticking up lots of content and leaving it there. Um, it's about how you encourage that, that conversation and how you have that conversation and how you um, get into that space and how you take away the distance from distance education and foster that engagement. The second thing that they say that the best online teachers do is to stimulate intellectual development. 
Now that's about academic challenge. That's about saying to your students, this is challenging but rewarding, a bit like climbing a mountain. The best teachers do not dumb things down. It's not a popularity contest. It's not, please like me, you, you know, that's not what it's about. It's about um, challenging your students, um, taking them just beyond their comfort zone but no further, and supporting them and guiding them at that point. And the third thing that they say that uh, the best online teachers do is they build rapport with their students. So again, that's about that conversation, that rapport. Um, it's about human interactions. And um, that's our challenge in the online environment, to try and break down that distance, break down those barriers, use technology to bring people together. And um, one of the things that, that we've done in um, the last year or so is talk about enhancement of our distance education. And we've come up with some principles and standards, half a dozen of those. And of those, the single most important one of those is uh, principle number two, which is about creating um, an environment that involves active engagement of learners with um, their learning materials, with um, you as an educator, and with each other, so that um, students can support each other in building that community. Um, so um, I'd encourage you to, um, to look at those distance education principles, particularly the one around active engagement, and see how that can inform your practice um, going forward. So thanks for your attention.